Hi guys! Welcome to my channel! So before we get started make sure to hit that like button also subscribe to my channel. What is compound interest? So make sure to watch the full video. Compound interest, or compounding interest, is the interest on a loan or deposit calculated based on both the initial principal and the accumulated interest from previous periods. Thought to have originated in 17th century Italy, compound interest can be thought of as interest on interest, and will make a sum grow at a faster rate than simple interest, which is calculated only on the principal amount. The rate at which compound interest accrues depends on the frequency of compounding, such that the higher the number of compounding periods, the greater the compound interest. Thus, the amount of compound interest accrued on $100 compounded at 10% annually will be lower than that on $100 compounded at 5% semi-annually over the same time period. Because the interest on interest effect can generate increasingly positive returns based on the initial principal amount, compounding has sometimes been referred to as the miracle of compound interest. How compound interest works Compound interest is calculated by multiplying the initial principal amount by 1 plus the annual interest rate raised to the number of compound periods minus 1. The total initial amount of the loan is then subtracted from the resulting value. How compound interest grows Because compound interest includes interest accumulated in previous periods, it grows at an ever-accelerating rate. In the example above, Though the total interest payable over the three-year period of this loan is $1,576.25, the interest amount is not the same for all three years as it would be with simple interest. The interest payable at the end of each year is shown in the table below. Compound Interest Schedules Interest can be compounded on any given frequency schedule, from daily to annually. There are standard compounding frequency schedules that are usually applied to financial instruments. The commonly used compounding schedule for savings accounts at banks is daily. For a certificate of deposit CD, typical compounding frequency schedules are daily, monthly, or semi-annually. For money market accounts, it's often daily. For home mortgage loans, home equity loans, personal business loans, or credit card accounts, the most commonly applied compounding schedule is monthly. There can also be variations in the time frame in which the accrued interest is actually credited to the existing balance. Interest on an account may be compounded daily but only credited monthly. It is only when the interest is actually credited or added to the existing balance that it begins to earn additional interest in the account. Some banks also offer something called continuously compounding interest, which adds interest to the principal at every possible instant. For practical purposes, it doesn't accrue that much more than daily compounding interest unless you want to put money in and take it out the same day. More frequent compounding of interest is beneficial to the investor or creditor. For a borrower, the opposite is true. The effect of compounding periods. More frequent compounding periods means greater compounding interest, but the frequency has diminishing returns. This example shows the interest accrued on a $10,000 loan that compounds annually at 10% for four different compounding periods over 10 years. Compound Annual Growth Rate CAGR The Compound Annual Growth Rate CAGR is used for most financial applications that require the calculation of a single growth rate over a period of time. Let's say your investment portfolio has grown from $10,000 to $16,000 over five years. What is the CAGR? Essentially, this means that PV equals $10,000, FV equals $16,000, and T equals 5. So the variable I has to be calculated. Using a financial calculator or Excel, it can be shown that I equals 9.86%. CAGR Real Life Applications The CAGR is extensively used to calculate returns over periods of time for stock, mutual funds, and investment portfolios. The CAGR is also used to ascertain whether a mutual fund manager or portfolio manager has exceeded the market's rate of return over a period of time. If, for example, a market index has provided total returns of 10% over a five-year period, but a fund manager has only generated annual returns of 9% over the same period, the manager has underperformed the market. 
pros and cons of compounding. Though the miracle of compounding has led to the apocryphal story of Albert Einstein calling it the eighth wonder of the world or man's greatest invention, compounding can also work against consumers who have loans that carry very high interest rates, such as credit card debt. A credit card balance of $20,000 carried at an interest rate of 20% compounded monthly would result in a total compound interest of $4,388 over one year, or about $365 per month. Compound Interest Investments An investor who opts for a dividend reinvestment plan, DRIP, within a brokerage account is essentially using the power of compounding in whatever they invest. Investors can also experience compounding interest with the purchase of a zero-coupon bond. Traditional bond issues provide investors with periodic interest payments based on the original terms of the bond issue, and because these are paid out to the investor in the form of a check, interest does not compound. Zero-coupon bonds do not send interest checks to investors. Instead, this type of bond is purchased at a discount to its original value and grows over time. Zero-coupon bond issuers use the power of compounding to increase the value of the bond so it reaches its full price at maturity. Understanding Compound Interest When calculating compound interest, you need to understand a few key factors. Each plays its own role in the end product, and some variables can drastically impact your returns. Here are the five key variables involved in understanding compound interest. Interest This is the interest rate you earn or are charged. The higher the interest rate, the more money you earn or the more money you owe. Starting principle. How much money are you starting with? How big a loan did you take out? While compounding adds up over time, it's all based on the initial amount you deposit or borrow. Frequency of compounding. The pace at which interest is compounded daily, monthly, or annually determines how rapidly a balance grows. When taking out a loan or opening a savings account, Make sure you understand how often interest compounds. Duration. How long do you anticipate owning an account or paying off a loan? The longer you leave money in a savings account or the longer you hold on to a debt, the longer it has to compound and the more you'll earn or owe. Deposits and withdrawals. Do you anticipate making regular deposits into your account? How often will you make loan payments? The pace at which you build up your principal balance or pay down your loan makes a big difference over the long run. Examples of compound interest. Compound interest can either help or hurt you depending on whether you're saving or borrowing money. Savings accounts, checking accounts and certificates of deposit, CDs. When you make a deposit into an account at a bank that earns interest, such as a savings account, the interest will be deposited to your account and added to your balance. This helps your balance grow over time. 401k accounts and investment accounts. Earnings in your 401k and investment accounts also compound over time. The percentage that stocks gain from day to day are calculated based on their performance the day before, meaning they compound each business day. If you reinvest your dividends and make regular deposits, you can help your balance grow even faster. What do you think of our video? Let me know in the comment section below. If you enjoyed this video make sure to hit that like button. Also subscribe to our channel before you go.